In previous videos in this course, we did a lot of commandlets, such as get-disk. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the execution policy for running scripts. So scripts, which are typically files that end in a .ps1, are files that have a whole bunch of different commandlets and different options built into them to do a lot of different things at once. So a commandlet will basically do one thing, whereas a script can do many things all at once. That's an overly broad way of looking at it, but it just gives you a good idea. So if we type in the get-execution policy, it'll tell us if we can run scripts or not. And we can see we can only run remote signed scripts. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and type the set-execution policy. This is how you set it to be uh, what you want. And then we'll type in remote signed. And what that means is that it's only going to allow you to run PS1 scripts uh, from the internet if they are remotely signed by the person who, who did them with a digital signature. So we'll go ahead and press uh, the A for yes to all. And now we have our execution policy, which is exactly what it was before, set to remote signed. So there's a couple other options besides the remote signed. And one of those is restricted. So let's go ahead and type in restricted. And restricted says, hey, guess what? You can't run any PS1 scripts. You can still run the commandlets, you know, where, such as the get-disk, but you cannot run anything that ends in a .ps1. So what that is is a, a security uh, policy that keeps other people from remoting into your computer and running a script uh, using PowerShell and causing all kinds of havoc putting viruses on, stealing data, that kind of thing. So they, we have one more option, and that is the unrestricted. So if we go to the set execution policy and we put in unrestricted and we press uh, A for yes to all, then basically what we did was we said, hey, it doesn't matter if the script, the PS1 file is signed, it's unsigned, or someone executed it remotely or locally, it's all going to be allowed. So if we put in the get execution policy now, it says unrestricted. And that's only if you are really having trouble running a script that you know you trust. So if that's the case, then go ahead and set it to unrestricted. But when you're all done, make sure you go back to setting the execution policy to remote signed. And that will protect you from having any type of script running, that again, a PS1 file that is not digitally signed. So that is how and why you set execution policy in Windows Server as well as Windows 10 and other workstations.